warm welcome to all of you. My name is Tom Jose and today I shall be showing you a demo on the AD Cell Service Plus application. Now AD Cell Service Plus is a secure web-based end-user password reset management program. It allows the user to perform self-service password reset, self-service account unlock and also self-update their personal details in the Windows Active Directory. Now on the AD Cell Service page you can see the forgot your password link or the reset password link where users who have forgotten their password can click on and reset their password and under that we have the account lockdown or unlock account link where users who have been locked out from their machine can click on this link and unlock their account now one main thing before a user can do these actions is that they need to be enrolled into the ad cell service plus with any of the authentication methods configured by the admin. Otherwise, like this, if I just click on the forgot your password link and type in the username that is Tom Joes, who is not enrolled, I will receive a error message saying that I'm required to enroll with security questions to reset my password. So today I shall be showing you how we can force users to enroll into the AD Cell Service Plus so they can enjoy the benefits of the application. So let me just log into the AD Cell Service Plus as the admin and as you can see this application is already pre-configured with the domain 8360. Please note that when AD Cell Service Plus is initialized it automatically discovers for domains. So let me just head over to the configuration page and under the administrative tools in the left side we have the quick enrollment feature. Now as you can see we have four features the first two being making the users enroll into the AD Cell Service Plus on their own and the last two being how the admin can enroll the users into the AD Cell Service Plus. And in this demo, I shall be covering only the first two features. Now imagine a corporate environment where the end users are too busy with their work. Due to this, they need to be constantly reminded to enroll into the AD Cell Service Plus. Thus, we can schedule notifications to be sent daily or at their convenience to remind them instead of the administrator doing it all by himself. So let me just click on the send enrollment notification feature. And as you can see, we can choose the domain here or if we have any policies that all manually we can type an email ad address. And we can also choose the OUs. So I'm going to choose one particular OU and that is the Tom OU that is here and click OK. And we can choose the notification type. So we support two notification type that is email notification or push notification. So I'm just going to be showing the email notification. And here is where we choose the attribute to where the mail will be sent. And by default, it's the mail attribute of the user account. And we need to make sure that we have configured the server settings. So let me just click on this. And as you can see, I've already configured mail settings for the AD Cell Service Plus to communicate with the user via mail. So I'll just go back to the send notification. Let me go to administrative tools under quick enrollment. And let me click on this. And now you can choose the subject of the mail the user will be receiving. By default, it's form enrollment requisition. And the mail content also we can choose with the following macros. So I'm just going to keep it as it is and click send mail. So it's asking me a pop up saying that are you sure you want to send this message to the users in the selected domain. I will just click OK. So as you can see the mail has been successfully sent to all the users who haven't enrolled within the OU Tom. So I shall just go to my Gmail account and see if the user Tom Joes has got that mail. And yes he has. So you can see this is the subject we had configured and the mail content and if he clicks on this he will be redirected to the AD Cell Service Plus page where he has to log in and enroll into the product. Now what if I decide to ignore the mail or I haven't noticed the mail due to my busy schedule at work. In that case the administrator will be in a fix as it will be inconvenient for him to go up to the user and tell him to enroll since his mails have been ignored. In this case we have the force enrollment feature and let me show you where it is. 
So the first feature we have is the force enrollment using log on script. So let me just click on that and I will enable the force enrollment. And this is the message we are going to see as a pop up. So here we can choose the policy. I'm going to choose the entire 8360 policy. And here is where we can schedule for the 80 cell service plus to search for non enrolled users and set up the log on script for each one of them. So I've keep it as daily and I'll keep it the time as 7.15 and I'll also tick the option which makes sure the users have to enroll when they log into the domain and I'll click save. Now the next thing I need to show you before I show the force enrollment is the enabling of the single sign on feature. So I just click on this and I will be redirected to the admin page under the log on settings. So here I need to enable the single sign on as this will allow me to automatically log into the AD Cell Service Plus page when I log into my machine. So before we enable single sign on, we need to make sure we hide the self service admin page. So I'll just tick on that. And here a pop up is shown that even though you have hidden it, we can still access the admin self service page by clicking on start client from the tray icon or by appending admin login.cc to the URL. So let me just close that and tick the enable single sign on feature. And here is already a computer account configured for this domain that is 8360. And I can change it to something else that is demo enroll and the password. Let me just type that. And I believe this computer account does not exist. So I'll just tick on this option and click save. And with that, I've successfully configured NTLM single sign on. And now since I had enabled the force enrollment, and enable single sign on, I will just log in as the user Tom Joes who had ignored the mail to enrolled earlier. So let me just log into that machine, type in the password, and as you can see, I've got a pop up that says that you have to enroll with AD Cell Service Plus. And please note that I cannot get rid of this and I have to enroll. So let me just click on this and now I'll be automatically logged into the AD Cell Service Plus because I had enabled single sign on. Now let me just click here and I'll be redirected to the enrollment page and I'll just choose two security questions. The first one is what is your mother's maiden name? Let me just type that. And the second one I'm going to choose the country you always dreamt of vacationing in. Let me just type that answer as well and click enroll. And now I've been successfully enrolled into the AD Cell Service Plus. And you can see a pop up that says that if I click yes, I can explore the self service options such as my info and change password. And if I click no, I can quit this. So I'll just click no. And this is how force enrollment can force a user to enroll into the AD Cell Service Plus. Now let me just sign out. And we are seeing this page because we had configured to hide this admin self service page for enabling single sign on. So that's how we can send notification to the unenrolled users to enroll into the AD self service plus or force them to do the same. I hope this video was informative. Similarly, we have other resources each explaining a specific feature of AD self service plus. So feel free to view them as well.